So, uh, Frisk, yeah. just so I can go over the rules and all for the uh, progression series that we do, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna mansplain them to you so you also understand them when, when, when I go live tomorrow and do it live with my buddy Anthony. The progression oh, no. series... Our progression series is a little bit different because both because unlike people like Simo, Dezeef, uh, MBT, and the rest of the Yugi tubers on um, on here, um, I and Anthony both have jobs that absorb the lion share majority of our time, and therefore we are not. What we're not going to do is spend a lot of time researching rulings, and we're not going to spend a lot of time researching metas back in the day. But what we are going to do is we're going to take the current erratas for all cards up until this point, and we are going to play with these cards as it's expected. That is no means no pre errata future fusion in the, in the GX era. It means uh, no it means no pre eroded uh, darkness metal dragon. All of these things. Okay. We we go through every single set from the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh's existence to modern day. And the winner gets to the winner of, of the of the series gets to open half a booster box or twelve packs from any previous so let me be clear. Every week every time we do an episode, we open a booster box of the next set in the series. The first one was uh, Power of Blue Eyes. Um, the, th the second one was Metal Raiders. And the third one is Magic Ruler, which is what we're going to be doing today. The winner, uh, who the person who wins a best of three, uh, gets to pick three, gets to pick uh, 12 car packs, uh, but of, this, of, of any previous booster set, of the same booster set, mind you, so you can't get like one of magic rulers one of uh of of legend of blue eyes and the rest being you know metal raiders you have to it all has to be the same one but you can pick a hat you can take a half booster box or 12 packs from any previous one and the loser gets to ban one singular card from the meta in perpetuity that way uh, that way, that is to prevent someone from essentially running away with the at least a block to prevent the uh, one person from running away with the entire thing. We also have our we also have our buddy um, who will not be named because I want to respect privacy. Hey, honey, love you. Um, and they will be in charge of 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 making ban emergency bans and correcting the meta as needed. But as a, we are only in the third pack ever, that's doubtful. Chara, uh, would you be interested in sitting through me while I go through my twelve, my uh, boost, my booster box for uh, Magic Ruler while we wait for our while we wait for Uriah to get uh, for zombies? Sure. Let's go. If he's getting on, we'll see. Well, either way, after we're done, we'll go do a, we'll do a hit. So we'll go do some rounds. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, he's offline. I'm sorry. You'll have to shoot him in text then. I will. So, the first group of cards we have are as follows. Eat a Bagoon, or uh, the Attack of this Mo which I don't actually know what it does off the top of my head. Mystic Plasma Zone, Miniar, Hungry Burger... <laughs> What if I did Hungry, Hungry Burger beat Burger. down? Hungry what Burger. What if I did Hungry Burger beat down as as the that would be great? Crab Turtle, Flash Assailant, Flying Katamari, Magical Labyrinth, and Stone Ogre Grotto. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that uh, so one of the things that we uh, uh, have been cognizant of uh, is up until this point, like we haven't really seen a lot of diversity in extra deck monsters or even special monsters and honestly it's kind of just been goat format you know mystic gemini uh, gemini elf turbo for uh zombies in a bit but uh some of these cards so but now we're getting into the point where like some of the traps and stuff are pretty interesting Increase the attack of all dark monster monsters by 500 points. 
Eat a Bugan. If the attack of a monster summoned by your opponent is 500 points or less, the monster is destroyed, things of that nature. Some of these, I'm not saying many of these are good, but it certainly is interesting nonetheless. Less, 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 less. That's what it is. Anywho. Opening the next pack. I actually don't know what uh, some of the more popular cards from this set are, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Molten Destruction, that's a card. Labyrinth Wall, Luminous Spark, the Beast Karate Man. What's Karate Man do again? He's, uh, you can double the original attack of this card once per turn. If you, if you use this effect, destroy this card during the end phase. It's not bad. It'd be good to bean someone for 2k. Um, what cards? Ooh, Malevolent Nut. Upstart Goblin! That is going to be very valuable later on. Holy shit. I forgot what level on it. When a mon the monster equipped gains 700 attack, when this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can pay 500 life points, place this card on the top of your attack. Horny card. Horny card, yes, but it's uh, basically a weaker version of something like Moon Mirror Shield. Cards. Tale of the Fickle, Red Archery, Red Archery Girl. <laughs> I forgot that there was a normal monster variant of this. I'm so used to seeing the Toon variant of it. Yeah, look at a double. A double? Mystic Plasma Zone. Yeah, I've got a bu I think I've got a bunch, unfortunately. Sheesh. Flip cards. Weather Report. Mystic Tomato. Ruran. Oh, wow, this is a throwback among throwbacks. Holy shit. Discard five cards from your hand. Destroy all cards on the field. Ooh, I forgot about that. That could come in handy in a pinch. Flipping cards. Spear Cretan. Reliable Guardian. Senju of the Thousand Hands. That actually might come in handy later for rich, more for, for more ritual cards. Forceful Sentry, what does that do? Put your opponent's hand, second card moment, return to his deck, and the deck of shoveled. Yep, I'm throwing that in my deck for sure. Especially if they only got one card in hand. That'd be freaking depressing. For cards. Checking in ceremonial bell, rising air current. Sonic Bird! Alright, so we're we're got we've got a rudimentary ritual-based deck coming so far. Giant rat. Uh, when comes to a balance of the very supposed to summon earth monster from your deck in attack position. Um, Senji's a light monster. That's a bummer, but still pretty good. I, maybe I'll be going for a ritual deck for the for the lulls. Flip cards. All shadow. Not terrible. Jigen uh, Bakudan. After this card is flipped, tribute it during your standby phase to destroy all monsters you control. And inflict damage equal to half the total of the attack of the destroyed cards, including this monster, to your opponent. Hmm. Probably not the strongest thing on the planet, but I remember. I remember people. I remember seeing that in the TV show, and people were losing their goddamn minds over it. It's obnoxious. Um. Hey, we got the uh. Um, Cyber jar. Is oh my your, god, the fucking Hungry Burger. Hungry Burger Turbo. Destroy all monsters on the field, and most players will use the top five cards of decks, and especially summon all revealed level four or lower monsters in face of attack position. Rest on defense position. Also add the remaining cards to their hand. If you have less than five cards in their deck, reveal as many as possible. You know I'm putting that damn card in my deck. Kind of disgusting, but still. God, I still can't believe they printed that dribble. Holy hell. Alright. I think I might be going for a ritual based deck with some shenanigans involved. Yeah. Which I'm fine with. I mean, I gotta send you. I got two Sonic Birds. I mean, it could, it could work. Ooh, Gravekeeper's Servant. Ooh. I'm gonna be mean. Wait, what'd you get? Ah, Penguin Knight. Yeah, it's cool. No, let's talk about this card. 
Gravekeeper's Servant. Your opponent must send one card from the top of their deck to the graveyard to declare an attack. I mean, that's also chain energy. Huh? Yeah, that's true. Chain. Chain energy. What's that do? Each player must play this normal summon spells, summon, etc. Activate cards from his or his effect of candy. Ideals, Mio! I'm about to play a trolley deck. Trolley deck. Oh, man. The options abound. Very hand mirror, Umi Korea. Giant Germ, I forgot about this. When this card is from a bounce of game, you the half a grand to your opponent. Any number of giant germs in your deck in face of attack position. That actually is not awful. Early swarming. I'd love to see. What's Fairy Hand Mirror do? This is a spell card that has exactly one monster and other cards on the field. Target a, one uh, target another card that would be an appropriate target. That spell not targets a new target. Okay, that's not great, but whatever. Um, let's flip these. Darkness approaches. What's Mystic Tomato do again? When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, so someone dark monster with. Okay, it's basically giant rabbit dark. Okay. What does Spear Critten do? Each part of the just on the face of attack position. See, it, we're already opening up to so like more op synergistic options at this point, and we're on the third set for Christ's sake. What does a weather weather report do? Destroy all your opponents in face of Swords of Revealing Light on the field. Swords of Revealing if Swords of Revealing Light is destroyed, you perform your battle phase twice this turn. That's a weird fucking card. Weirdly fucking specific card. Then again, that was back in the days I think when Swords of Revealing Light was kinda nutty. Ooh, another Gravekeeper Servant. And toll. Each player must pay 500 life points to direct, to declare an attack. Am I about to do a deck out? Gate, keep, gate, keep, gate, keep. Gate, keep. <laughs> he, I do. This is gonna be, this might not, this might be, a, I might be a fucking problem, bro. Sheesh. Um, okay. Uh, House of Adhesive Tape. If a defense, if a defense is a monster. Oh, okay, whatever. Sneak Fang, what does that do? Decrease one. Curse of Fiend. Change the balance, uh, change. This is the fucking card that Ace put in his deck randomly that one time. Change the battle position, ball attack monster on the field to the defense position and vice versa. These positions cannot be changed during the turn this card is activated, except by the effect of a spell trap or monster effect. This is basically like a mass book of moon. Uh. And it also is a. It also automatically flips your shit face up too. So I have three options. I have gatekeep, flip spam, and um or and 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 ritual turbo as an as my options so far. This is fun. What does eternal rest do? Destroy all monsters equipped with clip cards. That's fine. What's Taylor the Fickle do again? Switch one equips. Okay. Whatever. Reliable Guardian. Uh, yeah, no. It's just a stupid little defense buff. You can end with him, you like. And there's my playset of Sonic Bird, which is cool. I'd kill for a mo for more s another Senju. Huh? Because being able to get those monsters to hands would be great. Chain energy. What is this? I forget what this does. Code Odama. If there are face-up monsters of the same name on the field, destroy those monsters. God, this murders harpies. <laughs> Ooh. That could be a fun... Code Odama mixed with giant rat? I mean, good work. I don't know. Flip cards. Another Final Destiny. Love to see it. There's my sen my second Senju. Uh, Flash of Sailing Decree. So basically, if I have an empty hand, this card has 2,000 attack. That's not nothing. 
Damn. Uh, Blank out of Mario. I forget what this does. When this card destroyed, it's destroyed by Battle Graver. You can spend some one win monster. Okay, it's Giant Rat for wins. Wait a second. Hold on, didn't didn't I have well wait, wait uh is Sonic Wait hold on Um cards Sonic Bird Hold on Oh it's not okay special summons don't count that's fucking tragic Cause could you imagine like you popping this ka Kamakiri, and then I can uh, auto summon a fucking Sonic Bird and get us and get a, a ritual spell to hand. Oh, that'd be gross. Was Kiri? Yeah, really nothing. I mean, that's a you know a big a big old beater, but nothing special. Uh, twenty three. Turtle of Dark Witch, Heroes, Shadow Scout. Flip your opponent, draws three cards. Both players look at the card. If there's any spell cards among them, discard all those to the graveyard. Yeah, because I'm going to let my opponent draw three fucking cards. Here's the 23rd. Back. Thank you for your patience with this, by the way, Chara. I appreciate you. Uh, it's okay. I'm just, we'll, I'm just scrolling through Reddit. All good. And we got a, another giant germ, which is cool. What's electric snake? And this card is discarded by your hand by the effect. Damn, man. Um, giant germ could work. Save draft to collection. All right, so now, oh god, why Geo Omega? I'm gonna have to do a deck build thing offline tomorrow, but. Sweet Jesus. Looks like this will work out well, I think. Yeah, it's gonna have to be tomorrow because this is uh, downloading. Yeah, that's cool. I'm, uh, this is pretty exciting. I'm glad mm -hmm. that, uh, I got, some, I got some ideas brewing and I also, by the way, have, I think, three Pot of Greets already? Nice. So I'm already kind of like stacked a little bit in the draw in the from a draw power perspective, and uh, being able to pull shenanigans. Easy fucking peasy, easy peasy. Uh, 